open to 50 now. Um, my, uh, my son, who's 30, and I are going back and forth as to whether he should follow me. And uh, I have a weak case here because it suggests that uh, a 30-year-old can continue to eat pizza and drink milk and he'll be relatively all right, but he should watch out by the time he gets to my age. Well, I think in 50, what I'm really saying is if you have, you know, European, Middle Eastern, uh, Chinese ancestry and you are under 30, you are a child or young adult, you have benefited from hundreds of generations of intense natural selection to adapt you to an agricultural diet. You're probably going to do pretty good on an agricultural diet and even pretty good at coping with the very different patterns of activity that are associated with a more sedentary lifestyle than that of a hunter. Um, so, uh, you know, 30 years, you know, I, I have specifically told people who have heard me speak in public about this whole package, uh, I've told people who are 25 and 26, don't bother if you don't have some well-defined health problem like type 2 diabetes, you know, or a really bad skin condition or chronic GI tract distress, if you have none of those things and you're doing perfectly well and you're hale and hearty, don't bother. Come back to us when you're starting to feel lethargic, inert, your problems controlling your weight. Um, you show some of the early stage symptoms of metabolic syndrome then you should start to listen to what I have to say. So this is not advice for 13-year-olds who don't have Inuit or Celtic ancestry. 13-year-olds who are squarely in uh, the, the agricultural uh, descent flow, yeah. which is probably the majority of yeah. men. Now, you know, everybody in the Indian subcontinent, yeah. the huge populations of, of eastern uh, China, uh, most of the European populations, they can pretty much ignore what I have to say. Yeah. Uh, the people who are the fringes of those societies, be they hardcore Celts, Mongols, be they um, uh, tribes people from Africa, those people... Uh, could take what I say more seriously, and perhaps it will be important for them at a younger age. And then, of course, you come to the populations which only in historical times have yeah. become agricultural. And, and for and them, what I say is huge at every age. Yeah, it's interesting. On PEI, uh, we, uh, we're all Scots and Irish here, and uh, we have the fattest kids in Canada. And uh, it would seem to me that uh, th this would be a group who could um, uh, avoid the modern diet much earlier than than, than most.